Hey guys, Anthony here from Anthony's School of Tech. Today we're going to give you a quick crash course on Samsung Magic Info's web author. This will help you get started on creating the perfect content for your Samsung display. Let's just get into it. To start off, we simply enter our username and password and we'll be asked to go through a two-step verification because, you know, security is quite important. Once you've entered your two-step verification code, you will then be brought to your dashboard. The dashboard will actually give you a lot of valuable insight into your signage network of displays. For example, not just will it show you content, but it will show you how much of your displays are actually connected to the network currently, how many are disconnected, and it will also show you any errors or health issues that you may want to keep an eye on with your displays. But anyway, let's get down to the content. Now let's go through the web author. So to create content, you will click on web author and we'll ask you what type of content are you creating? In this case, we're going to go with the large format display signage content, which is the most common. Then we're going to select what version of device we're using software wise. For the sake of this demo, I'm going to keep this on version S9 and for resolution of the content, I'm going to keep it on plain full HD. Again, let's keep this simple. It is only a quick crash course. Now that we're actually within the web order, the first thing you're going to be asked to do is choose a template. Now, as you can see, there's a large variety of templates. These templates will help you create the perfect content for your display by simply creating a space for you to drag and drop ready-made content like I'm doing here. If you want to have multiple pieces of content on the one page, that's also super simple with Magic Info. All you have to do is select a template, which will allow you to drag multiple pieces of content to it. Select the content that you want to show, be it a picture or a video. Simply select your content and drag and drop it to a designated area. Now, what if we want to have, for example, the likes of a soccer match, maybe some like drink advertising beside it, etc. Well, again, select a template that will allow you the right aspect ratio for your source, which I've done above. Select your source input, which is on the far left tabs on the Magic Info web order. Now, once you've selected your TV, your HDMI source, your content will play through a designated window. So again, perfect for maybe having a sports event and other advertising promotions around the sports event. Now, that's going to create some content from scratch. So what I'm doing here is with the blank template, pick the font I liked, but you can still upload your own font if nothing there tickles your fancy or using a corporate specific font, no problem at all. I'm just typing in Anthony's demo web author here to keep it nice and simple. If you've used any Office software, you're going to find a lot of similarities between Magic Info Web Author and said software. So for example, you're still going to have your Align options, you're going to have your Grid options, you're going to have your Ruler options, and you're also going to show in little markers to say when you're at the center of the page, etc. You can also have the obvious abilities to change the color of your font as well. Everything that you'd be expected of a grown-up smart signage platform solution. Now I'm going to turn the text to white. Now, I'll explain why in a second. Um, but first, allow me just to dress up the text a little bit and get a bit playful with it. So I'm going to add a rolling effect to the text and I'm also going to increase the speed that it rolls at. So this will help you kind of catch the eye a bit more of passers-by because, you know, it's something moving, it's not static. Going to swap the background now to black, um, which is why I turn my text to white. You do have the ability to add your own background as well. We won't limit you in any way. We do also have the option to add stickers. Now, the stickers are very retail centric, you know, like free, hot issue, sale, but we can be a bit playful as well. So for example, I'm after selecting the Polaroid sticker. Now, what I like about the Polaroid one, this is great for showing off, for example, the likes of employees of the month or just your know, pictures of note, because with Magic Info Web Order, if you drop a picture on top of another picture, you can actually create a rolling slideshow. Um, just Something a bit fun, something a bit playful. Not everything has to be so serious, but I do like that effect. Now we're going to use the widget option. So the widget option allows you to actually kind of drag and drop some smart features, such as a digital or analog clock, a daily weather update, which will show you pictures of your city, or my personal favorite is the seven day weather update. So obviously we're in Ireland, it's not that sunny, so I can change it to be localized to not just my city, but even my town within the city. So I'm just going to put it to Dublin for now. And there we go, rain. That's a bit more like it. Now that I've dragged this to the size that is my own preference, 
I might decide I want to add some more features. For example, an RSS feed. Again, super easy, drag and drop. It'll show you a kind of a draft of what that will look like. Um, hitting the edit URL button will let you like customize. You can have it setting at a news page you follow. It could be a local page, but you can also then delete like the descriptions or the data areas if you just want that heading coming through. So once that's done, simply place it where you see fit. It's along the whole length of the bottom of the display. So again, grab the sides, drag it out. Nothing here is quite rocket science, guys. Most of this is all just drag and drop. Now, let's just say you want to change the direction that your RSS feed is flowing from, or you want to change how often your display will access the internet to update your RSS feed. That can all be done. So what you might want to do that is you could be in an area with a poor network, or you just want your network traffic being as busy. So you might set your display to only pull in the latest news every hour, or you can set it to pull it in from every minute. Once you're pretty much happy with your layout, hit the play icon in the very top right, which is your preview. If that looks good, well done. You're pretty much complete. Now, there is other things I didn't cover, like visual effects that will show you like steam coming out of a coffee cup or raindrops, etc. But again, this is just a crash course, guys. If you've liked this, please just let me know. If you didn't like this, let me know how I can improve. I'm very happy to kind of go more in depth and cover other parts and aspects of Magic Info, Samsung Display, or just anything Samsung really. Just uh, drop me a message, like, subscribe, and yeah, have a great day, guys.